Thanks for joining us again. Welcome back to Rare Oakleys. Today, we're gonna to be checking out some X metals. I know you guys love X metals. I love X metals. We're gonna be comparing the Romeos to the Romeo 2s, and they're both really awesome, very iconic sunglasses. Before we get to that, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't done that yet, now would be a great time. If you enjoy the video, hit that like button. Give us a thumbs up. That'll give the opportunity for more people to view the video, and hit that bell icon so you never miss a future episode of Rare Oakleys. Speaking of which, be sure to check out our other content because we have a ton of great videos. Most of them are Oakley related, but we're once in a while we're gonna throw in something different in there to kind of mix things up a little bit and keep it fresh. And also, be sure to check out this. This is my awesome book. The softest cushion to fall back on is one filled with hard cash. This book, is packed with tips and tricks on how to save money and to manage your finances. And you know what? It's just inspirational. It's a great read. It's part autobiography, so you'll learn a little bit, a little bit about me as well. And I'm going to leave a couple of links down below in the description so you can grab your copy. So, the Romeo 2s were, of course, released after the original Romeo release, but they were very different, which is why I wanted to kind of contrast them. We got a couple of pairs here that we can look at. These are both the same. These are the X-Metal with the Black Iridium Polarized. And of course, over here, we have the original Romeos. We also have the box. This is the original box. So I wanted to show this too, because Oakley, right at the end of the product life cycle of Romeo 2s, and actually X-Metals in general, they changed the box. Most of you are aware of that. I like the older box better. Maybe I'm more partial to it because it was the original. But the newer box is cool as well, but the newer box, because it was such a low production run, it's really valuable now. I wish I had the newer box. I do have this. This is the newer box for the Juliets, just to give you an idea. And again, most of you are gonna be familiar with that, but if you look at the, um, the sides here, well, this has the polarized with the X-Metal, Black Iridium Romeo 2s. This again is the Juliet, right? So this is the newer box for the Juliet, but the Romeo 2s also had the similar box, but the coin, of course, was different. It had uh, different front and back. I know one side had Jim Gennard in the, he was in the Medusa goggles and the Medusa hat or headgear. And so that coin is really tough to get hold of. I believe last time I checked, it probably sold for between $200 to $250, maybe even $300 for the coin. So if you got that coin, definitely hang on to it. I wish I had it. But I do have the, the older version here, obviously. And the Romeo 2s were interesting for a number of reasons. They, they were a, a real departure from the original Romeos, which, of course, you can see here. You can see the frame overall is much thinner, right? The frame on the original Romeos which mu was much thicker, and because of that, it was much heavier. The ear stems were different. They were articulated very differently. In fact, I'm going to open these here so we can just kind of compare at least a little bit. So look at the ear stems. You'll notice on the Romeo 2s on the bottom there, the one thing right by my thumb, they actually have the icon, the Oakley icon, which was a first also for the Oakley X metals. Up until the Romeo 2s, all the X metals had this little aperture here, this little opening. So they didn't you know, some people would construe this as the Oakley ellipse or the Oakley symbol here, which you see here, the icon. But other people just looked at these and said, you know what, these are Oakleys. I can tell they're Oakleys without having the Oakley logo physically on there. So this was a real departure, having that Oakley logo on the X-Metal frame. And this was the first time that they did it, one of the only times that they did it. But look at how thin compared to the Romeos, which the Romeos, yeah, there are some parts where it's a little bit thin, but this, the Romeo 2s, look at how thin the ear stems are. Can we zoom in on that? So can we get a good, good picture of just how thin, or a good visual of just how thin those ear stems are? But they're still incredibly strong. I don't want to say they're indestructible, but you can't bend them. Again, X-Metals, most of you are going to know this, but they were created with 450,000 watt generators at 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit a titanium, proprietary titanium blend or alloy that Oakley came up with. So these are incredibly strong, despite the fact that they're so thin. They're almost, I'd say not quite, but almost wire thin. Can we come in again and kind of take a close look at the frames, make sure we're in focus. But they're almost wire thin, 
right here where my, where my thumb is on the frames, almost wire thin. They were also the first Oakley X metals to be semi rimless, as you can see. So that made these uh, very interesting because they were semi rimless. Of course, they have the interchangeable nose bombs, the temple shocks, which you can pop right out. And these ear stumps are really tight on here, so please bear with me because they are tight. And these have never been worn either. But they had the interchangeable temple shocks, which you can push out. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna actually do it, but you can push them out from the inside and they are numbered. I don't know if we can get a visual on that. It may be a little tough to get into focus, but the temple shocks are numbered. And of course, the higher the number, the tighter the fit. So you could customize your fit with these just as you could the Juliet's and other Oakley X metals. But I picked up a second pair of the Romeo 2s because they were on, well, I don't want to say on sale, but they were really a pretty good bargain. I can't remember exactly how much they were, but they were relatively inexpensive for what they were on eBay. So I did pick up a second pair and I thought, you know what, maybe at some point I'll wear this pair, keep this other pair in stock, keep it brand new, and then have a pair that I can wear occasionally, or maybe, maybe a pair for trade. But you can also see they did have the polarized etching. These were also the first Actually, I believe these may have been the only X metals that were polarized. I'm trying to, no, no, they had, they had the Juliets. Other than the Juliets, these were the only other X metals that were polarized. And you should be able to see the polarized etching on the lens if we can get it into focus there. So these were really special. Semi-rimless, entirely new architecture for the frame, much thinner than the original Romeos. And they're much lighter too, because of that semi-rimless design, as well as the minimalist design on the frames themselves. And I happen to like these a lot because I could actually wear them. They actually look decent on me. The Romeos, the original Romeos, they were just too big for my face, which is why I shied away from them at first. And now I regret that. Later, being an Oakley collector, I said, you know what? I wish going back, I would have picked up the original Romeos for the collection because they are an iconic piece. This 1998 was where X-Metal started. So this was an evolution of X-Metal. They're both great pieces. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, again, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that bell icon, and we will see you next time on Rare Oakleys.